All right, guys, so we got to talk about a UGA professor whom decided to quit, right? Quit his job in the middle of class because a student did not want to wear a mask over her nose, okay? No, no, not just the student not want to wear a mask. She didn't want to put it over her nose, okay? So this professor decided, you know what? That's it. I'm out of here. It's not worth it. I quit, okay? He quit. So guys, I think that this uh, lesson right here, this story, is a good example of how freedom works both ways. So let's uh, look at the uh, news clip of this incident and I'll give you guys my commentary afterwards. Take a look. A UGA professor reportedly resigns in the middle of class after a student refused to pull her mask up over her nose. According to the school's newspaper, The Red and Black, 88 year old psychology professor Erwin Bernstein explained to the student his COVID risks at his age and with conditions including type 2 diabetes and gave the student a mask when she arrived to class without one. The student reportedly responded that she had a hard time breathing with the mask over her nose. When the teacher repeated his request, the student did not respond. At that point, another student told the paper the professor said, that's it, I'm retired and walked out. The professor who was in a retiree rehire position told the student paper that as an Air Force veteran, he had risked his life to defend the country, but was quote, not willing to risk my life to teach a class with an unmasked student during this pandemic, end quote. The student was reportedly the only one in the class of 25 to express any discomfort with the masks. The incident at UGA came the same week a Georgia state instructor was fired over her refusal to teach in person without a mask mandate. Georgia's public universities within the university system of Georgia do not have such a policy in place. That instructor, Cody Lutke, told 11 Alive she fretted about it quite a bit until, quote, I finally decided I couldn't teach in an environment like that. All right, guys, so as you can see there, um, yeah, that professor wasn't having it, okay? And the student wasn't having it. And because of that, the professor decided to quit. And before we get into this, guys, I have to give my disclaimer. Uh, I do this on every single video when it comes to talking about the vaccines, the pandemic, mass, uh, the virus, whatever. I'm not making any claims whatsoever. I'm not making any claims about mass. I'm not making any claims about the vaccine. I'm not making any claims about the virus. I'm not making any claims about the pandemic. If you have any questions about those things, please consult your Doctor, I am not making any claims whatsoever. This is purely about public policy. Now, there's an article here that goes in uh, more detail about, um, you know, this incident and whatnot. And we'll read a little bit more about that. The professor's uh, name is Erwin Bernstein, okay? And this guy is a uh, retiree slash rehire professor whom is like 88 years old. And he decided to come back and, and, and teach, right? So he decided to come back and teach. Now, obviously, he, he felt like his life was in danger, right? He, he felt like he was at risk and he didn't really want to take the risk. So with that, he, he decided he wanted to resign. So let's read a little bit more here. Written on a board at the front of the classroom was, quote, no mass, no class, according to a four-year psychology major, Hannah Huff. The 88-year-old psychology professor explained to the student that he could uh, die from COVID-19 due to underlying health conditions such as type 2 diabetes, hypertension, and age-related problems. Bernstein sent an email to the red and black. Only about 15 minutes into the Tuesday lecture, which consisted of Bernstein taking uh, student attendance, he asked the student to pull up the mask again, but this time the student did not respond. Bernstein, who was already informed that two of his absent students tested positive for COVID-19, then announced his resignation on the spot and left the class immediately. At that point, I said... That whereas I risked my life to defend my country while in the Air Force, I was not willing to risk my life to teach a class with an unmasked student during the pandemic. Uh, Bernstein said in an email to the Red and Black, I then resigned my retiree rehire position. Huff said she sat at the front of the class on Tuesday in shock, anger, and silence for a few minutes like the rest of her uh, peers as she tried to comprehend what happened. Professor Bernstein said, that's it, I'm retired, and, he watch him, and we watched him pack up all his papers into his bag and walk out to class, Huff said. Resignation was an all or none decision. I felt some relief as I've been getting more concerned as the COVID-19 pandemic unfolded in recent weeks, Bernstein said. 
some students uh, began logging into Athena to find uh, last minute uh, seats in other seminars. Others stare at the student and ask, you know, we need this class to graduate, right? In response, the student said, well, this is a blessing in disguise, according to Huff, right? So you have some people that went on Twitter to uh, talk about this. Huff, who is expected to graduate in December, says she has now been moved to another upper division uh, psychology seminar at 8 a.m. opposed to the original 9.30 a.m. class. Quote, the damage is done. Obviously, she has her values and they're clearly not going to change even when someone asks you to do something that will make them feel comfortable, Huff said. Bernstein is there for you, the student, like he came out of retirement to do something for you, but you just can't take it out of kindness of your heart to put a piece of fabric on properly. All right, so you guys kind of get the gist of what's going on here, right? There's students who are upset and angry about this because they feel like they might not be able to graduate because this guy's not teaching this class, right? And obviously, you know, they're on Twitter uh, sounding off about it. And this tweet actually went viral. So, yeah, I mean, listen, he here's my take on this. This is how freedom works, right? This, this is how freedom is supposed to work. Now, in this situation... Um, I believe that um, Governor Kemp has put in some executive orders that have restricted mask mandates, right? So now this school, UGA, they, they don't have a mask mandate. And because they don't have a ma mask mandate, that there's no mandate that you have to wear a mask. That student is not required to do so, even if the, the teacher wants her to do it, right? She's not required to do it. She's not breaking any laws or school policy, okay? So because of that, Right. Because of her freedom not to do that, the professor also has the freedom, if he's not OK with it, to resign and retire. And he did. Right. He did. So, I mean, I don't even know why this is even controversial. I mean, the dude is 88 years old. He probably shouldn't be in the classroom, period. Right. He probably shouldn't be in the classroom, period. Again, I, I appreciate his service in the military. Obviously, like him putting his life on the line for the country. I get it. But, you know, once you get up there to a certain age, it's like, okay, I understand that you want to work, but, hey, <laughs> you know, it might be better for you just, you know, to chill at home. Again, especially during a time like this, right? But with that being said, again, there's still measures in place that he could have took to reduce his risk, right? He could have maintained his distance. I think the class has like 25 some students, so I'm not sure if it's a big lecture hall. Maybe it is. Maybe they have, you know giving out bigger classrooms or whatever to try to keep students socially distanced. Maybe that's a part of it. I don't know. But regardless, there, there are measures that he could have took to avoid any type of contact with this this person if he didn't want to uh, take that risk, right? But again, he, he said, hey, you know what? I just want all of it, right? If I can't have it my way, then I'm out. And that's fine. I don't care, right? He, he has the freedom to do that. But see, you know, I, I, I do kind of have an issue a little bit because... These mandates from the left, right, in terms of like, oh, you have to make me comfortable, not only shows up with this mask thing, it, it also shows up with other things. For example, like the whole preferred pronoun thing, right? Because remember, the, the argument in that article about masks is that, well, she should just do it because it, it makes him feel comfortable. It makes him feel safe, right? You, you, she should do it for him, right? She should stop being so selfish and just wear it, right? Because it makes him feel comfortable, okay? That's what one of the students was saying. But see, again, this is the same argument that they make in regards to preferred pronouns. Well, even though, you know, saying preferred pronouns, it goes against your religious beliefs. It goes against your values. It, it, it goes against how you understand the world, okay? Um, you should just do it because you want that person to feel comfortable, right? So now what they've done, guys, is that they, they made other people's feelings and them being comfortable Instead of giving somebody the option, the freedom to say, you know what, I will do what makes you comfortable because I, I want to do that out of count of my heart because I have the option. Do I have the freedom to do it? No, they don't want that. Right. What they really want is, well, you have to do it to make me comfortable. Right. They want to turn that into a mandate. And again, that, that, that's my problem. That's my whole issue here. Right. Now, if, if I was that student, if I was in the class, um, I probably would have did it. Right. And, and the reason why is because. I do realize that the professor is 88 years old. I would not want to put him at risk, right? Me personally, I, I would be like, this person is 88 some years old. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be that that person, right? If it makes him feel comfortable, fine, right? That's what I would have did personally, 
Because, again, the dude is up there in age. But, again, at the same time, I would never go as far as to mandate somebody do that, right? And this is what we're talking about here, right? This is, this is what freedom is. This is what freedom is, okay? But people on the left, they don't understand the concept of freedom. They think that we have to have mandates and laws in place to appeal to people's feelings and emotions, and you don't have to. That's not how the world works. That's not how the world works. What happened in this scenario right here, guys, is ideally what should happen, right, in a free market, freedom-based society. One person decides, you know what, I don't want to do this. Person that's uncomfortable with it says, you know what, if you're not going to do it, then I'm just going to quit. That That's how it's supposed to work, right? <laughs> That's how it's supposed to work. And that person quitting, they accept the consequences of quitting, right? That person that decided that, hey, they weren't going to go along with what the professor wanted. Now, she may have to find another class to graduate because this teacher is not uh, teaching this class. Now, I'm pretty sure they'll be fine. I mean, the school will probably find a way for them to get the credits they need. But I'm just saying, this is how it's supposed to work. So, again, I don't even know why this is like even like a thing, right? This, oh, yeah, this is, this is, yeah, this is how it's supposed to work. Like that business that I told you guys about, that diner in Texas that decided, hey, we're going to basically uh, put in a mandate, right? And customers didn't go there, right? It went out of business. That's the way it's supposed to work, right? That's the way it's supposed to work. That probably doesn't necessarily apply to bigger businesses and corporations per se, but hey, it is what it is. But I hope you guys get my point. Freedom is a double-edged sword. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.